But I think that the biggest problem comes here. The All right, uh, another Black Belt Reacts video. Thanks for joining us again today. I want to take you through one of our primary covers. It's All right. Spike and it allows us to protect our face and our throat when we're being struck by an attacker. This looks like I should gear up. Of course, I have my own padding here, but let's see. Slide through to the back All right. of my head. So they and are sliding from here to here. Okay. With our arms, All right, I, allowing us I to can see where not get struck going. in the face. Our elbows are forward, our eyes are up. You can't see anything. Squeezing our head as tight as we well, can. They... So we've got a lot of strength and protection there. We're we'll we'll getting here. Okay, I guess they're hitting with elbows. Yeah, they, that, that, that's what they're yeah. trying to do. How they're practicing this, it's very good because they are, the attacker is moving all the time and coming towards you, not stopping. That's, that's a very good exercise. But they had all the gear with them, but what was actually missing that they would actually be hitting the person. I was doing this and now I'm slapping you like this. That is not punching. I have my gloves on and everything and I'm hitting something like this. Why I'm wearing gloves? Why is the person wearing body protection? Because now if we are close in here, we should be actually delivering good punches. And that's a smart thing to do is to have the uh, body suits or, or something like this, to, so to actually not to hurt the person a lot. So, so you can go in punching, but then you have to take advantage of that. You really have to punch them. But I think that uh, the biggest problem comes here that, you know, if you, if, if you hit to my shoulder here, as, as they did, I'm not doing this instantly. I'm because I'm moving forward. I'm like, well, what the hell's happened? You know, these tactics that you place your hand here, you know, in a crowd and something is happening, you know, you have to get out. Very good tactic. No, no, no question about that. You turn around, I grab your hand and now you hit with your elbow. No problem. There's the hand release at the same time. If I would do this, if I pulled you, now of course that would not work. But then if you use your elbows the other way around like this, yeah, nice. In some forms of when we talk about the use of force, like now we call the police, security officers, whatever, and thinking that uh, we are close here and the person is now turning the watch, I will not hit you very hard. Uh, and now if you start wheeling in and I would do this. Yeah, why not? It's also a very, um, how would you say, up to the person type of thing to do. As a general solution, uh, how it was presented that you get scared and you put your, and, and you do this immediately, not very likely. But also, you know, not something that said, okay, it would never happen. I think that you would have much better, you know, tools to use there. Because the distance was still here that, that, hey, I do this, you put your hands there, and now I was coming in, so just make a sort of like a stepping defense type of stuff to not let me get in. Because I can still hold, I can still do stuff like this if you're not hitting very, very hard. But the, the thing is that, yes, this technique, it's a feasible thing to do at times. It's also a feasible thing to do if you are very attack type of guy, you want to do this, you want to go in and, and you know that you have the body strength and power to actually do damage to the person. But then if that's not the case, I would not choose this as my primal movement to train. Plus, you can fix your hair. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. Hit like, subscribe, check out our other videos. And be back with us.